Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Mixed Media Monday. Woohoo! We're going to play today with a little project. First, I want to say hi and hugs to Annabelle, Jillian, Blanca, and Southern Biscuits. Thank you so much for your um, sweet comments, for watching my videos. Well, as you can tell, we're going to play with Altoid Tints today. Um, this was something that I used to make when I was doing mixed media all the time. Made them all the time. And um, I have a few left from those days. I'm thinking if you're interested, once you see them, I may put them on my Etsy because, you know, they'll, they'll, just, uh, they'll just be in my inventory box otherwise. So, you know, someone might, might enjoy them. So we're going to do that today. Okay. First of all, I, I wanted to tell you, because I know I'm going to get questions about this little frozen Charlotte is what these are called. And these are paper mache pieces. And I got them years ago on Etsy. The name of the shop is Jilly's Stuff. So I will put that in the description box, but uh, I have to, the little disclaimer is the last, I don't know, half a dozen times I've looked at her shop, it's been on vacation. So I'm not sure if she's still doing her work or not. So yeah. So let me show you these first. Um, this one, I think we might finish up. Let me look in the camera and see how well you can see. Maybe I'll get it up here a little bit. Um, so this one was kind of angel themed and I just need to stick down this angel and this flower is, is what I need to do. Can you see that? Um, on that one. And this one has a day, uh, collage top. It's got some ribbon on the edges and then it's got some stickles along the edge there. Um, this one again is collaged it's collaged with a shorthand book and then i had this i had this beautiful piece from um uh estate sale just you know vintage jewelry and then i had this cool necklace that was all beaded and so i put that on this edge and then this is the inside it says believing it's got a little butterfly some corrugated cardboard you know just some stuff to fluff it up. And then this one, this is the little frozen Charlotte I was talking about at Julie's stuff. So I, I don't know, guys. You'll have to let me know. Um, but I, like I say, she has been closed the last couple times I've tried. This is, again, um, it's just Mod Podge paper on. Um, and then layered up with some leaves and some burlap and a key there. And then on the inside, it says, be awesome. And has some hearts and a key. Yeah. So they're fun little pieces. They're fun to do. And um, in our realm of things, I have seen people make little uh, little journals. Now, this little guy, he's just a little teeny one. He's, he's very much smaller than a normal Altoids tin. But um, I put a little... A little fold out in there with a couple little tags and I'm pretty sure this was my friend Judy's my inspiration from my friend Judy I think so then there's that little one yeah so they're really a lot of fun to to mess around with they really are and what a good way to recycle an Altoid can, tin right so let's let's get this one glued down and then we will go from there. Oh, I see why I may have been worried about this because look at how it's just the edges. So it's not going to go down very well. Um, I might see, do I have like a, I was wondering if maybe I had a snippet or something that would fit in there that I could glue it to. You know what I'm saying? This is the right colors. 
That might be okay. I just need to tear it down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, well, we're going to finish this one, and then we'll, then we'll do one from scratch. I have a bunch of stuff out here to work with. No idea what I'm going to do with it, but we'll just see. We'll just see. I, I got out everything that I could think of, but I'll apologize in advance if I have to go running to get something because I don't, I don't really know what I want. I feel like mixed media is even harder than, um, well, I can just go on this, I think, um, is even harder than journals in terms of having to go get stuff all the time. I mean, it's nice to have things right near you, but that can't always be the case. You know, that's not always possible. Oh, I think what I'm going to do is put glue on the edge as much as I can. It's sunken in. That's the issue. But I'm thinking this might stick well to the paper and then we could glue the paper down. That's, that's my strategy. Okay, I'm just going to go like that. Might as well glue this down too. And then I'll just glue the piece of paper to the Altoid tin. That's my, that's my strategy on this one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no idea how we're, how we're doing here. Oh yeah, that's going to stick, I think. Okay. So now, sorry, I keep standing that up and then have to wait for it to run down. I need to fill it up again, I think. I had a gal in the comments say that she's using, instead of these, she's using uh, um, ketchup and mustard bottles from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Oh, we do, we do find some stuff, don't we, that we can manage to use what we need to. Okay, I'm just going to now try to put that down in there. There we go. I actually like that better than just, are we, can you see what I'm doing, guys? I'm a little, I'm still a little far away, aren't I? Maybe I'll go right there and do my best to stay in camera because it's hard to see. It's hard to see. All right. So maybe what I'll do is put my, put my little thing right there. Okay. So that's, so that's that one done. Thank you. I'll leave it open while it dries. Yeah, they're just fun. Just fun for sitting on a shelf or something like that, you know. Okay. So, all tight tin. You know, just your usual little all tight tin. And um, my husband used to have these in his office all the time. And um, so I have a bunch of them. Just haven't done one for a long time. So first thing that I do is gesso the whole thing. Now you kind of have to be careful on the opening. Like I tried not to gesso there. I did get a little gesso there, but this one seems to want to open fine. So it's all good. Okay. I'm going to put this one aside. Let's do this thing. Okay. I have out my Mod Podge. And I'm just going to use, I'm going to use matte to collage on this. And then I'm thinking um, that I might use the antique Mod Podge a little bit. I don't know. So I have out my Medieval Mirage stuff. Because I was thinking there might be some smaller patterns and things. 
that would be be good to use. I'm actually looking at this for the for this the bottom. I think I might do that just right right about here. So all I'm going to do is go around it. Now this is not necessarily a tutorial. I'm going to give you a little disclaimer right off the right off the start because I just play with them. I, I, you know, there's probably a better way to do everything I do today, but this is just the way I do it. So yeah. Okay. So there's that. Skizzers. I need my skizzers. And I'm just going to cut that out. Theoretically, I had my um, pencil angled a little bit, so theoretically, this will fit. You know what? If it doesn't, there's always distress ink or something like that. So, so yeah, I just thought we'd play with these today. And, you know, you can make little journals to go on the inside, which, hey, maybe we'll do that too. Okay, isn't that pretty? Yeah, that's going to be pretty on there. Love it. Okay, let's put that on. Let's see, I think I might need one more paper towel since I'm using this to know where I'm in camera. Look, I put those over to the side. Um, and I'm, I'm sorry if this is too close for someone and they get seasick because I have gotten that comment before. But um, I just want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. And it's not so far away. Um, and my Mod Podge is full strength, not watered down or anything. I don't find a reason to water it down. I do use it watered down when I make my fabric paper, but that's about it. That's about the only time I do. Okay, slide over there. Get on there straight if you would, please. Okay, got a good fit on that, peeps. We got a good fit on that. Okay, isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. Okay, so then do I'm I'm thinking do I want to collage this or do I want to just put another piece of paper cuz gosh that's pretty. And I'm kind of thinking I'm going to end up uh mostly for the most part covering this anyway. So maybe we'll just Is there enough room here? Yep. I think so. So I'm just going to do this. And this medieval mirage, I think this is illuminated flora. Don't hold me to that. But yeah, I need to um, print out some more of her paper. I love it so much, but I just have lots of papers to work with and I sometimes just kind of get on a on a roll with whoever's paper I'm showing at the moment Making scraps as usual. Okay, so let's let's do this on the top there. Yep, let's do that. And then um, I think I might get my antiqued Mod Podge to go over the top. I think that's what I might do. Okay there Ooh. okay 
because I don't um, I don't want it to bubble and sometimes if you just go over the top right away you avoid the bubbling okay so should have got my heat gun that would have been a good thing Okay, I am going to get my heat gun, guys. Excuse me for a moment. Talk amongst yourself. Okay. Cover your ears if this bothers you. just put a thin coating on so it should be fairly quick to dry yeah yeah that's good okay this has a few bubbles but that's because of the um raised word altoid <laughs> so fun to be doing the uh mixed media monday it's crazy to me how quickly Monday's come. I had a whole nother video planned and I was like, oh, nope, Mixed Media Monday. Better do it. Okay, so I think I'm done with this, at least for the moment. Um, then I want to do the inside. So... Uh, let's find a paper for it. We can do that while that's drying. Okay, I'm just, I just was looking to see how close I am. I'm self-conscious of that because, because you know. Okay, so what would we like? I think I'm going to stick with the roses maybe go with this on the inside isn't that pretty yeah it's got a little writing on it and stuff i think it would be cool let's do it okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it where i want it which is right about there i'm again gonna draw around it but we're gonna cut Kind of well on the inside of this mark so that okay hopefully that's pretty good <laughs> okay let's just go up this side Gonna have to do a collage something or another with these papers. Okay, I'm going well inside how, where I marked it, trying to that man since this goes on the inside, I'm gonna distress ink the edges first. Okay, distressing. I said distressing. See, we're going to need the lid too, aren't we? So we'll see if this fits. And if it does, we'll do another one for the lid. How about that? now to get it out <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna do the lid and 
I'll do over on this side just because I don't want them to be exactly the same. Hmm, or do I want to do some of that? I think I'll do it like this. Okay, I'm just going to trace around this one. Since we were so good last time. And then we'll, um, once again, we'll go on the inside, cause kind of try and, let's see which way, I guess I'll go this way. Okay. So the other thing I thought about, but then I decided I wanted to use the Medieval Mirage papers, is you can use tissue paper for this, and then, you know, it, or you could use napkin too. Kind of have to cover up the graphics that are on the, um, you know, on the lid here somehow, you know, with gesso is, is a good way to do it, but um, might need a couple of coats. Okay, isn't that pretty? Okay, let's see if this fits. Well, it comes close to fitting. Do I want to... Hmm, yeah, I think that'll be good. I'm gonna distress it. We'll get those two things down and then then we can figure out the edges. I was kind of thinking I'd like lace because this is sort of, um, what would you say, kind of shabby chic-ish. Let's get another paper towel here. Okay. Kind of soak it. And more of this might show, so is this her upside? Yeah, because I don't know why I open it that way, but yeah. Okay. This is going to be the upside. get the edges really good okay now let's do this one actually I had a thought I'm just going to brush that on and probably let it dry I think what I might do is um, put some washi tape on the sides and then put this down. So let me see what I would have. Um, just look in here. Let's see, all of my washi tape is where, well, here's some that might work. We have this little box. I think I got this at from Denise at Wonder Bar Gifts. Or Wonder, Wonder Bar Crafts, I mean. It was a gift. <laughs> hmm. That one's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to want to, I think I might put, I'm going to see how this works with Mod Podge. I mean, you know, usually I, um, 
I use glue stick, but let's see. Let's see how this works. It's an experiment. I'm just going to kind of go around the edges. The reason I didn't want to put the um, other, the bottom on is because I didn't know if I would go, if it was thicker washi tape, it would have gone on the bottom. And might go on the bottom with this because I might have to do two rows. I'm not sure. Mm, I think I'll be okay. Kind of splitting the difference with the height. Hope you guys can see okay. It's a little fiddly, isn't it? Oh dear, that's not good. You know, just like anything else, when I put these together, I want them to last. So, as my other ones have, because they're like, gosh, how old are they? They're probably five years old, something like that. Um, I used to sell them at craft sales before I had my Etsy. And so, okay, I think I got it. I got myself all gluey, but I think I got it. Okay. Okay, now I'll put some more down here and... Base down in there. Okay. Nice. Okay. It's very handy. My brush has kind of a um, uh, what would you call it? Slanted tip. Okay, okay. So, liking that, liking that so far. I think I'm gonna put this antique mod podge over the top of it. home. Did I tell you that, um, I think I told you that we <laughs> made a boo-boo on our shower and put the backer board and the tile over where the faucet screws in. <laughs> Whoopsie. And so, bless my husband's heart, he went and got some, um, got a new tool and he was able to correct our error mostly because we can't get uh we can't get um you know trade workers to call us back i don't know if i've ever, i've told you that but we want to replace the gutters on our house can't get a gutter company to call us back we've called several it's like oh okay well so I don't I don't know why they're so busy, but I also think there may be a a bit of a um, what do you call it lack of workers to do those sorts of things. But anyway, I would think redoing a whole house's gutter system would be a fairly decent job, you know. As far as pay goes and stuff but I don't know I don't know I don't know okay so that needs to dry I think 
I think we're done with this because I think I know what I want to do on the outside. So we'll get this stuff kind of out of our road just because I this makes me nervous. I'm always scared I'm gonna um, have an accident and get water all over everything. So my thought was I kind of want to do lace on the edges, right? So what do I have? Oh, I was thinking about this little pink right here on this edge. Would that be cute? Yeah, that would be really cute. Okay, um, first, excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My husband, when he was doing the, doing that work, created so much dust. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so, um, not sure. Okay, why is that stuck? How much of this I need? But I think I might try and generously figure it out so that I don't have to contend with the cardboard thing. So if we don't, if we happen, if it happens that we don't get this done um, today, I'll show you tomorrow when I do my video for tomorrow. If I get it finished, just going to go around the edges now that it's good and dry. Okay, let's do this one. Medieval Mirage uh, pictures, digitals are so pretty. They're just so pretty. Okay, so that's right set up right there. Alrighty then. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the back, have the seam back here. So... Art glitter glue glue on metal. Just looking, I don't see it. Doesn't say. Hmm. Okay, we'll use Fabri Tac in that case. We shall. Use our fabric tech. I want a decent layer of it. Kind of got to go around the. Kind of got to go around the hinge. Lay that on its side, Gail. I don't know how many times you have to tell me. <laughs> Is that what you were thinking too? I don't know how many times we have to tell you, Gail. Lay it on its side. Good coating. So it's gorgeous here today. Going to be 85. It's quite lovely. We took Jimmy Joe for his walk. I think it's just going to get warmer. So you know what that means. Yep. After I do my video, I'm hitting the hammock. Yes, indeed. Go sit out there and answer comments and maybe read my book a little. Sounds glorious, doesn't it? So I've already sold all the three journals that I had ready to go. 
they all as of this morning sold and um also packaged up a bunch of packages of napkins and so thank you to all you ladies who have been supporting me over there on my etsy i so appreciate it and i'm so grateful for you okay let me get that right here have a little snippet for something okay so there's that there's the lid cupboard okay that's cute okay so then on the bottom let's see i was kind of looking at this lace wondering tell if it's wide enough you don't want to go over these two little bumpies because um, those are what close the lid so you don't want to do over those okay that's not quite wide enough I feel like this other one might be a little wider let's try it let's see if this one's wider oops too wide I need a happy medium, people. <laughs> Wonder if this one. That one's just right. Just like the porridge. I think I'll just take this off. And see how we do. Oh yeah, that's gonna be cute. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda close that. My fabric tack a rockin' again. So these are from 2015. Best by uh, 10 November 15. <laughs> oh, let's just do half. Actually, I'm going to close my lid so I don't accidentally um, get glue there. Okay, I'm going to have to go up a little bit, but I think that's going to be okay. It's just slightly, slightly too long. I should come down the bottom a little more. Okay. Well, we're going to try it. Worst thing that happens if you, is you use a couple of supplies and it doesn't work. Because the Altoid tin itself is garbage. So... down here sticking to my fingers now Def I kind of thought I might as well wait to redo my fingernails till I did this project because <laughs> the Fabri-Tac does ruin your fingernail polish And last part, kind of overlap each edge of the lace a little bit. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay. Did that. I better check the time. Goodness gracious. I'm sure we're moving right along. Oh, yeah. We got 20 minutes. That's good. Okay, so now we're all covered. We get to think about the the lid. Now, I did think about maybe using another one of those frozen Charlottes. See, this is why I end up hoarding supplies, I swear, because thankfully I bought quite a few from her, but now she's closed, you know? And so you never know if you're gonna be able to get things again. So, um, let me kind of show you some of these. Just got a little jar of them. They're just so cool. I love them. They're so cool. That one has orange, so I know I don't want that one. These are really cute too, but I'm not thinking I'm gonna use one. Size-wise, they're not as good. They're little like corset bodies. Yeah. You asked me why I have so many supplies because I did mixed media first <laughs> before I did journals. This one's cool. I really do love these. I really have kind of hoarded them. Don't want a naked one. Don't want one with an eyeball. Don't really want that one. Don't want that one. Don't want that one. Thinking about this one or this one at this moment. Let's see what else there is in here. And there's these little tags with frozen Charlottes on them, too. Okay. Oops. Guess you better look at them, Gail. Hers head fell off. <laughs> Whoopsie. Hers, hers needs a little repair. Owie. That hurt. <laughs> Be gentle. Don't want to lose anybody else's head. Okay, that one her. I want that one. If I use one. I'm hoping it's still going to open. Yep. Yep. We're good. Okay. These are just such a perfect size for these, aren't they? And I love seeing that underneath, but I'm also wondering, grab these out too. These little, um, look how cute that is. Oh, I really like that. Ooh, what if I put her on the inside? I mean, you know, we could stick her on the inside instead. I think that's what I'm going to do with this one. I grabbed this one too, which looks good, but I like, I like the fabric on there a lot. So I'm going to put that on there. Yes, I am. And then I need to um, grungy up my girl a little bit with the Distress Ink, I think. I'm 
So mixed media for sure. Many different um, mediums have been used in this. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so full of Fabri-Tac from this project. Okay. Put this away. Plop that right in the middle. Oh my gosh. That's a cute little box, if I do say so myself. All right, and then, so I was wondering, I actually kind of like that. But do I like her that way or this way? Seeing the sewing or not seeing the sewing. I think I like her that way because she's the center of attention then. Okay, I'm going to lay that down in the middle down there. Oops, got a little. Hmm. I'm thinking, do I want a little word right there maybe or something? Come on, come out. I will get this filled up before my next video because that's annoying to have to wait for me to get the glue to come down. <laughs> okay. You can go like so. Right in the middle. So I guess I'm not making a journal for this one. I just got carried away with my decorating. So that's okay. Okay, so let's use the makeup brush and see if we can get her a little bit grungied up here. It also just brings out her features better. She almost looks angel-esque with this little piece right there. Okay, that's where you can go. Okay, let's put her down. Then we'll think about if we want a, a word or something on that other side. Or we could have like a, a, a short quote, like the Tim Holtz, whatever they're called, the sentences. Okay. That is done. Um, oops. Turned my little trolley around to get the um, washi. Just look in here. How about be original or with brave wings she flies that could be kind of cool okay ah. okay Sorry, I was probably doing that off camera. Not that. 
<laughs> not that you don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to use our glitter glue on the words. And then I think we're going to be close to finish. So in an hour, we did a little altered tin and just way too much fun. Since I just said she looked like she had wings, seems like a good saying to put on there. Okay. Well, we did that. So there we have another little altered tin. So yeah, I think I might... I think I might pop those on my Etsy's guy on my Etsy guys. And so if you're interested, you can go over to Cinnamon Tea. Isn't it funny how you just kind of evolve to this one actually is all stuck now too and ready to go. So that's kind of kind of fun too. Yay! Okay, well, we did it. Another Mixed Media Monday. Little altered tins this time. And I'm super happy with this one. She's a fun surprise on the inside, isn't she? Love those. Love those frozen Charlottes. So I hope you enjoyed this, everybody, and we'll give it a try. Um, we will just see you in the next video. Have a grateful day. Bye-bye.